in this short video, I'm going to talk about our um, project calculator here for building out a project plan or conducting an assessment, doing some policy and procedure work. And just note that this is a uh, pretty beta. Um, we've been using this calculator uh, when I was at my MSP for quite a while. It was really tailored to us. So what I'm trying to do is uh, revamp this a little bit for you know, the MSPs at large, right? And we kind of roll this out into like three or four phases, right? With the kickoff week, the discovery, the implementation, assess and validate, and then executive reporting. And as you can see, there's some times here along with, you know, hourly rate and so on and so forth and calculations and all of that fun stuff. And so using this calculator, you start off with basically the kickoff week. Like when do things start? You know, how much is time you think you're going to spend in a scoping meeting, you know, uh, basically installing tools if they don't exist, you know, uh, building out your framework and then doing some, you know, data discovery and asset discovery in that kickoff week. Moving into phase two, where we kind of walk through some interviews, data flow diagrams and the estimated time, again, start dates, end dates. Phase three, uh, dealing with policy and documentation. This, uh, this documentation action uh, is actually built off the actual documentation over here, which we'll get into in a little bit. Phase three, talking about you know, getting evidence and doing things and kind of estimated time. Again, all of these should be adjusted based upon your own work and your own what, whatnot. And then, you know, some, some reporting, like obviously you want to be able to build reports and hand them to your customer. Um, and lastly, you know, this kind of calculations page that kind of takes all of the sums of those things, pulls them all together, gets you your calculation of time and book populates that over here, and then you pop in your hourly rate. Now, hourly rates are always an interesting one. We uh, have seen, you know, anywhere from $150 an hour to, you know, $250 an hour to, you know, all the way up to $300 an hour, right? When you're talking about your hourly rate, I just want to pause here for a minute and talk about determining your hourly rate. So, there's this whole concept of, you know, FTE or full-time equivalent, the number of hours a human can work in the course of a year. You know, when we build out these project plans, we talk about, you know, potentially, you know, basing that off of a percentage of their time. But you also need to factor in other things like your tool cost, your overhead cost, your fringe cost, right? I don't want to get into a lot of detail about actually doing those calculations, but I hope as an MSP, you've taken the time to actually do those calculations. You know, start with your base hourly rate for your staff. You know, calculate the cost of your tools, calculate the cost of your overhead, right? Bake into some of those percentages for a profit margin, either on tools, time, or whatever. And really uh, dig into developing your own hourly rate. You know, there's a whole bunch of things on the internet that can help you do those calculations. Uh, when we were at the MSP, uh, you know, working with the accounting department and third party auditors, they would help us determine what percentage of overhead, what percentage of GNA, you know, what's a good profit margin to start with based on, you know, historical data, right? So when you build your hourly rate, don't just pick a number out of thin air actually determine the pieces and parts that go into that so you understand just how profitable you are or are not and and adjust accordingly for the market maybe i'll do another video uh, totally talking about how to calculate your actual hourly rate um, but this one really i just wanted to talk about at a high level this calculator uh, how to, you know, build out a project plan for doing compliance as a service work. And that starts with an assessment. And that assessment, in our opinion, has some phases, right? Discovery, you know, uh, doing a kickoff call, right? Doing some implementation pieces of tools and discovery and figuring out where the stuff is, right? Uh, building out policies and procedures, 
you know, conducting the actual risk assessment based on a framework or based on questionnaires, and then uh, putting together executive reports. Because that's what it really all boils down to is helping your customer understand their risk and where they are in that risk journey. And so this calculator should hopefully be able to help you. Now, again, this is complete beta version, not even beta version one. Uh, it's beta, beta, pre-beta, pre-launch, whatever word I, you want to come up with. Um, I still have some work to do on you know, calculating and, and building out what does it take to document. However, when you're using compliance scorecard, the documentation piece, we can really help you do that work at scale with the general idea of write the documents once and deploy it many. For example, rolling out, let's say, you know, something like FTC safeguards or HIPAA or any of the other sort of smaller, quote unquote, not NIST 800-53-171, CMMC, not sort of those smaller risk frameworks, you know, you're going to average about 10 or 15 documents. You, know, you might average, I don't know, 15 to 20 hours. But the calculator that we've built here will give you the ability to actually determine that specifically for your MSP. And the beauty with compliance scorecard is write the document once because you know how you're doing things in the environments of your customer. You know what you're doing for passwords. You know what you're doing for disaster recovery and backups. You know what you're doing for vulnerability management or incident response, right? Those simple documents can really help do this work at scale within our platform. So hopefully you found this value. Uh, there's certainly greater detail. Uh, I'm going to do a much longer video when I have this kind of more stable and out of beta for you to be able to actually walk through. And I'm going to show you each and every individual component. So if you want to learn more, uh, head on over to our website um, and then, you know, send us a message and we'll get you the video and the calculator and when the full blown calculator is ready, you know, that'll be available for download as well. So Tim Golden, founder of Compliance Scorecard. Uh, have a great week, everybody. Looking forward to bringing you some uh, valuable calculations and project plans.